everyone, MWC12000 here, and today we're doing the first episode of my new series, Bad Free to Play Games. So, uh, why, why, why have I, why have I started this? Well, there are a lot of free to play games on uh, Steam. Uh, a lot of them are bad. Um, I mean, uh. Maybe, maybe, I mean, there, I mean, there's some good ones like uh, these ones right here. They're they're pretty good, uh, but there again, there's there's a lot of uh, really bad ones. So uh, you know, so why why would I uh, even care to to do one? I mean, there's there's a lot of people do review of games. Uh, this th this uh, free to plays are something they don't do often. Why? Because they're free. You know. You're not you're not really losing anything if you downloaded these games and they're bad. Well, you know what you are, you're losing hard drive space. And uh, how about those scenarios when someone's like, "Hey, you want to play something?" And you're like, "Sure, what?" And then there's like, "How about I I see you own uh, this game?" And like, "No, I uninstalled that. It was free. I didn't like it." But uh, or maybe it's a really bad game and someone sees you have it in your uh, your library list and they're like, "Dang, son. That that's really bad." Why, why would you do that? So, uh, to start off, if you read by the title, today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of a, a look at the, uh, the, the, the bad, bad free-to-play game, Tactical Intervention. This is, uh, is I'm going to only do games that are uh, uh, mixed or below. So, even if I don't personally agree with a game that is, if it has like a very positive rating, then I'm not going to do it. So yeah, uh, you know, today I'm joined with uh, uh, Monroe since this is a, uh, a co-op game or <coughs> something along those lines. So we're going to experience it together. Um, so if you don't know what tactical intervention is, it is uh, a Counter Strike creator, the the mod, the uh, some of the source, you know, uh, uh, Min Guzman Lee. And uh, this game came out in 2013, so uh, three years ago. And um, yeah, so the thing about uh, Min Gooseman Lee here is uh, he left the Valve team to make this. And uh, yeah, what a great so, career path! <laughs> so we're going to kind of look at the page first. So we got some pretty basic screenshots. Yeah. Uh, the graphics are, are pretty good from what I'm looking at here. Then again, these could just be cinematically created. Uh, I'm not really going to show much of the trailer because, you know, there's, there's a lot of music in there, probably copyrighted. So I could be fine with it if I just mute the, the sound. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. Without the sound, we can tell he's grappling down. Uh, the grapple appears to be glitching in and out of his face. That's already a bad sign. Um... So now we're, we're looking at some guy shooting uh, the guy on the grapple. That, that's okay. Repelling, I guess you would call it. Uh, I want to I wanna make it know. calm out. Pause, pause the thing. Like the video. Or not the video, but like the clip on tactical mm -hmm. intervention. Yeah. You, did you see the part where he grapples down to like the floor, but then it glitches and throws him into the floor below, and he just keeps running and tries to act like it's normal? <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about this part right here where he tries to hit there and then he kind of glitches down and goes down to that floor. Yeah, so, they just yeah, keep going. Yeah, let's skip like... around a bit. Uh, we have uh, we have rolling, as if that's a new feature in video games. Uh, no one has ever have, done that. Uh, we have shooting from cars, which... Now, they're shooting out the front here. So... Uh, I don't know exactly. They're going pretty fast. I don't. I don't exactly know if uh, if that's the safest thing to do if you don't have a windshield. But uh, you know, it, it's fine. You also don't want to shoot well, out your I'm own. I'm not going to judge this game on the realism. Well, I might do a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, um, let's go ahead and look at the uh, the the DLCs. Uh, uh, anniversary counter terrorist pack. Anniversary terrorist and. Terror starter pack. Oh, we got a lot here. We got counter terror starter pack, quick fire pack DLC, and full metal overcoat pack. So we have a, a bit that's, of that's the go ahead. That's that's the that's microtransaction uh, seal of approval. That's the uh, that's the that's the common way of when you're looking at a free to play game. Uh, 
That's the common way to tell that this is already going to be pay to win garbage. If uh, they they name their DLCs starter packs, that's yeah. on the green unless you know Steam always shows in the green. Who knows? And uh, yeah. Um, other than that, it's uh, it's made by Fix Games or Fix Korea, which I guess is the Korean adaptation of it. So now for about the game. Let us, let's read off, and uh, each paragraph we'll dissect and look at anything too bad about it. Um, here we go. Tactical Intervention is a free-to-play tactical FPS with a unique mechanics. D drive, bomb, repel, sh and shoot your way through 11, 11 high-octane levels. To begin That's with, so I would not, I would not uh, call unique mechanics driving, bombing, and repelling. So, because, you know, it's in a lot of games, this kind of stuff. Um, so, I, I kind of want to say that this game seems to already be something along the lines of, you know, since this is, this is Men Guzman Lee we're talking about. He wanted to bring back the uh, feel of Counter-Strike. But I feel what he has created here is if the, the, dev, the developers of Counter-Strike and the developers of Rainbow Six Siege got together and uh, tried to make a game but they they're like two different companies and they're kind of rivals and they don't they, they don't really agree with each other it's a lot of fighting and uh, after several different uh oh, compromises after several different compromises uh they finally came with, up with a game and it uh they sent it out and they're like uh oh, this might do good but uh we're definitely not gonna get any profits off this game and we pretty much just wasted manpower that's why I feel like this game is going to end up being. Never played it before, so we're kind of going to go in fresh. I'm not going to go in with a, with a hateful attitude. I'm going to try to find the positive features because if you really want to see why a game is bad, you don't want to like actively look for what's bad. You want to feel what's bad because when someone is going into a game, they don't at, go into it unless they're doing like a kind of a review. They don't go into it to see what's bad. They go into it to enjoy it. So I'm going to try to enjoy it, and if I can't enjoy it because it's bad, then that means it's a bad game. So, of course, the reviews are mixed on this one. And uh, I feel like this is another game that has very joke reviews, like uh, the, the positive, but the positive reviews are bad. If you know what I'm saying. Like Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, yep. So, in this game, you can command attack dogs. Uh, probably can't afford attack dogs when you start the game. I'm going to guess it right now. Uh, deploy breaching charges. Um, <clears throat> There's always a level in a game where you do that once. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's even Counter-Strike Condition Zero. Uh, perform drive-bys and control hostage situations. Uh, I think he means you don't drive a car at all. And uh, hostage situations, that's Counter-Strike. From the brilliant mind of Min Guzman Lee, the co-creator of the seminal team-based FPS Counter-Strike. And of course we have the title of the game, so I don't really need to read that part. T tactical Intervention. Take your role as either a terrorist or counter-terrorist. Hmm, wonder why that... I don't know, I wonder why... Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> Sounds so, like Call of Duty. <laughs> so uh, it looks like uh, we're not changing any of the uh, roles. From All right. And confront opponents in fierce and frantic combat over a variety of high-energy maps, wielding authentic real-world weapons. Take your role as either a terrorist or a counter-terrorist. Okay, we've done that. Uh, from the classic P90 to the terrorist favorite, the AK-47. So, uh, more confirmed reports that this is definitely a game about Counter-Strike, for Counter-Strike, by Counter-Strike, without Valve. Featuring unique game modes and mechanics not seen in other shooters. Like what? Uh, uh, did you rename uh, uh, Deathmatch to Total Deathmatch? Uh, did you rename uh, Arms Race to uh, Gun Gun Game Level Up or something? But wait, Gun Game is also not a unique name. Oh, but you have Level Up in it. Oh, that's that's good. <laughs> I don't actually know, but that's you know. more uh, free to play mechanics garbage. Mechanics not seen in other shooters. What you mean, like driving, bombing, repelling, and shooting? Yeah, I've never seen those before. Um, I mean, I'm gonna come with an aspect of 2013 gaming, and I still, I it's still not very unique. Uh, 
Let's see. Uh, 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 we can hijack a car. Uh, hmm. I don't think I've ever heard of a game franchise that lets you do that. Uh, oh, oh, it's first person combat, an entirely new perspective. Um, let's see here. Uh, 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 um, let's see. Uh, we get uh, the, the, the um, uh, hijack a car and a highway chase. Unload a high powered. Uh, Gavard shotgun into the v into the VIP as your opponent scramble to project to protect him uh, Take out the covering helicopter with a well-placed shot from an RPG while you handbrake turn to a broadside your target Yay. So experience the thrill of repelling kicking packs of glass hurling slash bangs I would not use hurling in the term of flash bangs. I would use throwing but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Grabbing hostages, human shield, dealing some rapid fire death with your Uzi. Eh, I mean, having an Uzi in your game doesn't exactly make it a selling point. I mean, I could play Gary's mod and they could have an Uzi in it. Use riot shields to defend yourself against an enemy forces and then command your vicious German Shepherd attack dog. Again, probably a pay to win German Shepherd. Out of the line of sight. Drive to cover, lay down, suppressing fire with your AUG assault rifle so your teammates can liberate terrified hostages. Basically, that last sentence was a over-glorified way of describing the, uh, the gameplay of uh, Office or something in Counter-Strike. Combining the strategic elements of modern team-based shooters with pure thrill of original Counter-Strike series, blah blah blah. So, this basically just as the, the selling point. There you go. Um, created by Min Guzman Lee, co-creator of the original Counter-Strike. Uh, that is not very much of a... Okay, I guess I could call it a feature. But, uh, what do you think, Monroe? Mm. This, uh, this feature. Well, when you hear that name, you think, you know, I, I like Counter-Strike. Yeah. I like guns. Dozens I of like authentic weapons to true life statistics like the the P90 AK47 Uzi and M4. Uh, yeah, I would say they don't have an Uzi in Counter Strike, but you know, other than that, I could just play Counter Strike for the rest of these weapons, including new tactics, including attack dogs, riot shields, breaching charges, and night vision. Not really. Attack dogs. Uh, when did Call of Duty Ghost come out? Like uh, 24. Yeah, this could be a, I, I guess this would be a new tactic. Uh, riot shields, that's not new. Uh, breaching charges, uh, I'm sure they were in the old Rainbow Six games. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure breaching charges is a new thing, so that's not very original. And night vision, uh, riot shields and night vision, uh, under the list of new tactics, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've forgotten, my good sir. Breaching charges and night vision were in some of your old Counter Strike games. Like uh, condition zero. Uh, yep. So I wouldn't call them new either. Uh, unique com combat situations: use target hostages as shields, repel down buildings, engage in high speed chase. Man, nah, whatever. You can do that in other games. Uh, fully customizable loadouts with hundreds of options to allow you to be ready for any situation. Okay, so we already have some pretty loud stuff start with uh, powered by source I don't understand why games think that they have to be super cool and make this super cool stuff what is this uh, yeah. graphic content that may and they have all right so let's go ahead and uh, uh, turn down that, that volume All right, so uh, we have pretty s basic stuff. I'm just gonna keep the talking disabled. There's no need to hear the voice chat in this game. Uh, all right, so let's look at the title screen to start with. Uh, it looks like uh, our title screen is Steam. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> So let's look at uh, what we have here. Let's look, let's look at the options. Uh, pretty simple video settings. We got we got a colorblind mode, so at least we know uh, he was he had the best intentions in mind. Uh, advanced video. Uh, yeah, whatever this. All right. So 
Yeah, it's just, I don't know what changes them. Maybe keyboard and mouse, uh, probably not important. Just the basic buttons and, uh, controller. Uh, it's, it's controller, guys. It, it probably is not good at all. We got shop, uh, support. That's, uh, donations, probably. Which, uh, if you have a pay to win game, also is important. Oh, hey, look. You click support, and uh, all it is is Steam again. So, uh, that's not very put together. Wait, did the game crash? What? Does the game crash when you do that? Uh, no. It, it opens up Steam in the game. Yeah, this game is super loud. I just turned it on. And there's like yep. two sets of Steam community things so for me. So we have credits, which are also in a Steam box, which, you know... I would, I'm not exactly sure why they, they need to do that, because I'm pretty sure these are some pretty good co programmers. They, uh, they made a really good game back in the day, and, uh, this is a bit insulting that they can't have their game run the credits. They have to have Steam to run the credits, um, uh, which is okay, I guess, uh, and a quit button, which, uh, we might be pressing a lot. Uh, profile. Oh, it opens up my profile on Steam. Wow. I'm a rank one turtle guy. So, uh... For the really low... Might they really, like... I guess I'm gonna click play game. They made my profile picture really low res. They did it to me, too. Oh, there's minus points, low resolution profile picture. I'm just kidding, I don't care. Okay, we have... Uh, three lobbies. Russia, Europe 1, and Europe 2. I, I guess we'll do uh, Europe 1 so you get a true feel for what the game is. I'm sure Europe 1 might be closer to home. The weapon rack is the way of bringing what? Weapon rack? Okay, what's the weapon? Why is this music so loud? Okay, so I get four guns. That's already a good... Oh, these are handguns? Uh, no, no, that's it. That's really it. That's all that there is. That That's it. There's just these four guns you get. That's a clear sign of a, p uh, a pay to win. And uh, you may be saying, well, why is that? Uh, there's expiration dates on all the guns. Um, oh, we have open rank 9 and below only shopping mall. Uh, so go. if you only get a certain selection of guns and you have to unlock them and they have expiration dates, that gets a, another 10 seal of approvals on the pay to win aspect. Uh, let's look at uh, the... Can we just go ahead and give them a gold medal in pay to win? Let's look at the, uh, we got create game. So we have mission, classic tactical intervention, mission mode, hostage rescue, bombing, and more. Intel, fly over a briefcase to bring it back to your base. That would be, uh, what most things would call, uh, what's it called, uh? What, what's what called? Uh, your basic, uh, capture the flag. <laughs> oh. Team deathmatch, TDM, uh, no. That's not original at all. And free for all, also not original. So mission it sounds like it'd be the most original one. Mission which is not shopping original mall. at all, because uh, most games call that the uh, campaign or co-op campaign. We have to do the shopping mall one. That's oh, we can go shopping. Oh wow, pay to win garbage. Uh, it's appearance. like 008. Uh, we can customize our character for a small loan of a million pay to win dollars. Oh, it actually did just put me in the thing. For what? shopping mall on like zero zero eight server, rep. It just says you How know. How much you're... Uh, money do I get to start off with, anyways? Uh, none. None. Actually, uh, not like you had to pay like eight eight eighty thousand to keep it permanently. Oh, and look what I said. Deployable dogs. You do actually have to pay. Uh, so how much? Oh, you gotta. I'm a bit confused here. So like. So if I want this dog for one day. <laughs> Yep. Oh, in a black market. How that cool. That tongue on those dogs, though, mate. Uh, buttons to be pressed. F does everything, apparently, which is really weird, because it's usually E. Uh, I'm hearing already really crappy gun noises. What is this? It's literally Counter-Strike. Why am I red? Why is this knife? Why is this? Apparently I'm a terrorist, even though I was a counter-terrorist before. Who knows? And your gun is, your pistol or your secondary weapon is not in your second slot. I'm gonna go ahead and deduct points for that. I'm gonna deduct point. points for those gun noises. And I flick my knife out like there's no frames. And also apparently I need to turn down uh, the volume anyway, even anyway, more. Anyway, positive things. 
of the positive things. Melee is actually a pretty good button. Right click, yeah. So yeah, uh, they got I knife, like we have gun, and we have this. All right. How do you scope? Or is that like, is it like in other games like Counter Strike where there is no scoping? There's no iron sights? Probably not. So, uh. I died again. The reloading feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like just a piece of garbage, so. You what have do you a think lot of. of these graphics um, for a 2013 game. And they're a bit odd. They're not like crappy, but they it feels like I can't tell whether it's like a stylistic thing or if it's just really weird. For a realistic look here. Okay, so that it's not that great. So can you like run up walls or what, what can you do in this game? I heard F does like everything, so maybe not. Oh, well, I pressed F and I'm not doing anything. Uh, oh, I changed what my scope looks like. Those weapon mods. How do you do that? Well, it, no, it's like how the, it's like not the scope. I mean, the reticle so looks different. So this guy, when I press E, I lean, and I, I'm going to assume that when I press Q, I also lean. I don't. So. Another oh, that's that's pretty nice. The that's realistic not... aspect is you move really fast when you crouch. Well, it's I good killed for somebody. Bad I didn't for really. Realism. I don't- I like the leaning though, it's not that bad. That's actually pretty okay. How do you lean? Uh, it's like Q and E leans in the two directions. I don't like where they put the buttons, but I don't really- I kinda like- Actually, I kinda key. like where they put them. Okay, so the pistol is okay, better okay. than like all the other weapons that's it comes okay, to. I guess. <clears throat> that's another thing I just figured out. Um, let's- this the pistol shoots. is the best gun. Is it? The pistol is so much better than the, any of the other guns. Oh, that guy just died. Oh, yeah, I see you behind me. Oh. I got. I died. I mean, maybe the pistol was lucky. I don't know because it, it was working before and now it's not. The respawn time feels really dumb. Okay, I can pick up dead people's ammunition. Yeah. What else? All right. Uh... <clears throat> we're gonna heal Michael because apparently that's what we're supposed to do. I'm just gonna crouch down and heal with T, which is not working. All right. I can see why people could find this enjoyable, although these graphics are pretty bad. Now that I've been playing it long enough to to look at this. Bang, bang, bang. I have a gun. And the shooting sounds, again, are horrible. Those shooting sounds are pretty cancer. I, mean, I guess they didn't have time like they did in Counter-Strike to uh, record live gun sounds, but they could have done it better than this. I've seen some pretty crappy uh, FPSs that at least had really realistic gun sounds. Hmm. So there's a police car here. It says, uh... Okay, that, that's pretty legit. There's some flashing police cars. You can block with a knife. We doing some knife combat here? There's no, like, super backstabs. There's just, uh, to watch people or blocking. The map killing people. Oh, that doesn't... And it's working, too. It's underneath the map and killing people. If that's not broken, I don't know what is. Minus a ton of points for that. You get two kills in a row and you apparently get a grenade because that's how the military works. That's not a this I game this problem. That's a game looks what? Like when it's over. That was like the most awkward game in the. Oh in, right, let's leave this. Kinda, room. It just happened. I could different. still. Let's do a mission with uh, six people in it. Join 006. <clears throat> you will be penalized for killing civilians to roll away from explosions. Oh, I just watched. Oh, there's a car. There's that car chase we were promised. 
reminds me of like Gary's the current mod round on So why are you? I was in and TDM. Oh hey, look a helicopter. Look, he he stole the boombox. Ow. That was that was a short round. I guess people like honking the horns. We will let. Uh... And I have like a little, oh. Escort the VIP. Oh, I see the VIP. Oh boy, I'm in a car. He looks like a, uh. Vroom, vroom. A, uh, a, a real dictator. It's so glitchy in this oh car. My. We're just running into everything. I'm gonna put that on the player's part, though. Oh look, I got an RPG I'm gonna put round. Under the fact that this is really Realism. not realistic car driving, because crashing into everything, this car would have been crashed and wrecked like about 50 times already. How is this car still running? So I don't know how to get out of the car. Now do I respawn or am I just dead? I just know I got that helicopter. Oh, right hello. Now. I just pulled out my RPG thing this and shot. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even know how to get out of the car. Do you know how to get out of the car, Michael? That helicopter. I guess we won. Oh boy. What what is this? Alright, I'll do one more <laughs> round in this thing and then we'll do the final game mode. Or there's actually two more game modes. You are a counter terrorist. Alright. Escort the VIP. All I know is Rescue the big the trick VIP, is to okay. always lean out of your car. Because that's what all the Team, are you on? Oh, I just jumped out of my car. F. And I get instantly blown up. How do you do it? Why are we ahead of the guy we're trying to get? I'm even gonna question it. Are we trying to race him? Is this a race? I want my RPG bullet this now. Game is so laggy and glitchy. Rip. The helicopter keeps doing spins. Our what guy is, is just lag? driving as fast as he can. He's not even trying to like... He's not even trying to kill the VIP. He's just trying to get up, be ahead of him. I guess this is Mario Kart. This is gonna be about 5,000 points off just with all this weird... I mean, at least the helicopter's driving straight now. Nope, never mind. Apparently we've uh, reached our low destination. Oh, there we go. There, I found them. That's not. That's not a good texture They're at all. They're here. Eliminate the VIP and steal the case. Secure the briefcase. Okay. Mate, why oh, did wow. I just from roll? That was completely you can see unnecessary. The map in the background. That's not good when your game shows you uh, the map barrier. Okay, so I don't know what happened there, but we won and it wasn't hard. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, return to lobby and uh, leave this room, and uh, let's do our let's do a team death match in office. That seems like one that has the the repelling. So uh, let's do zero zero two. Uh hmm. Okay, I'm Current in. John room and Valid are full. That room, I guess I'll leave now. And what? Oh, that's because I left. <clears throat> oh, it's like me in now. Oh, should I join oh, back? I joined shopping mall by accident. Uh, hold on, leave room. Okay. 
Let's find uh, it. Try to go in zero zero okay, two. Okay, now. Ready. Yeah. Oh. We got like level one hundred and thirty three loot. Play this game for other people. Long. I don't know. I mean, we played those two matches in like less than five minutes. Oh, hey, I can only use uh, one gun now, apparently. Oh, boy. This definitely captures the feeling of real battle. Yeah. Remember oh, to reload your dude. weapon. S and F. Oh. Nice. You are a counter terrorist. Because the United States realize that this is just There's a, a terrorist. bad game. Shoot. This game is locked at 60 FPS. It is. Oh. Yep, yep, it is. Oh, it's not. I'm watching the Fraps counter. It's locked at 60 FPS. So, oh, now it fluctuated up to 100. All I know is I just got two kills. I just got two kills by accident. Uh, so apparently it's really easy to be a counter-terrorist. When I've got like this How's the gameplay machine gun it gave me. I mean, it's not like terrible. Oh no. Cancer. Piece oh, of crap thing we have to was do. Done. Nope, there's one more mission we have to do, and that's, <gasps> uh, let's, let's go ahead and change, uh, I don't think there's any in this, uh, lobby, so, uh, I'm gonna create one, uh, it's called Intel, <laughs> and apparently it's, a uh, beta work in progress, so, uh, it's here. a work in progress, it's just gonna I'm be, not gonna put any password on it, we're gonna let everyone do it, oh my gosh, alright, go ahead and join. No, so my, wait, I, yeah. there's, a, there's a bait on a three-year-old game for the easiest game mode to code, probably. It, it, okay, the game is not, um, the game has crashed again. Good. I'm a level one private. Yeah, I'm just crashing. Oh, that's not good. I've crashed three times and twice in the past minute. Okay, we're here for some good reviews. We have uh, uh, this game made my life a lot better because now I can appreciate every single game in the world knowing that this one will always be worse. And on can I read mine? Go. Yes. Oh, yeah, mine, I uh, now. so far, is like, hello. So far, I've got playing this and having a stroke or two very similar things. The latter is more enjoyable. I say... If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. A free game I would recommend over this. It's also a first person shooter. It's called Team Fortress 2. And uh, it was made by the professionals. It's pretty or cancerous now, you, but. If you, uh, yeah, you'll still get some more watches. this in. game to buy uh, your DLCs, uh, go ahead and refund them. And uh, buy Counter Strike Global Offensive. I would also recommend that game instead of this one. But. Uh, Whatever, if you, if you do enjoy this game, like uh, that one guy did, who kept killing us over and over again, then um, uh, let you, I'll let you guys know this is in fact a mixed game, even though the positive reviews aren't exactly positive. So uh, yeah, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and it's MWC Shock Drive and British Shock Drive signing off. Bye guys. Cool. <laughs> Infinite power.